This letter from the Attorney General, just the first step in the release of Mueller's report. We are joined now by WCVB legal analyst and former Attorney General of Massachusetts, Martha Coakley. So, Martha, President Trump says this is a complete and total exoneration. Do you feel that's a fair conclusion based on the letter and wording from Attorney General Barr? I do not. I think the president um, is exuberant, as he often is, in overstating what has happened. Remember, we only have conclusions by the Department of Justice, having reviewed this in the last 48 hours. And so even uh, Bob Mueller, who did what we expected, to follow the law, find the facts, if he couldn't find a crime, I think we all expected that he wasn't going to say that. But he specifically says this does not exonerate the president. Okay, and Martha, should we take anything from the timing of this letter being released this afternoon, right about 4 p.m.? Well, I think if you look back and see that the report was delivered by Bob Mueller at 4 o'clock, uh, everybody, you know, obviously waiting for this report. DOJ said that evening, the attorney general, he might be able to release something by today, uh, probably telescope to the White House that there were going to be no more indictments, uh, that there were no uh, sealed indictments to be released. Um, probably one of the reasons why you did not hear the president tweeting about this this weekend, because he's taken it upon himself to undercut in the past everything Bob Mueller might be doing. However, now he wants to support Bob Mueller's conclusions. And so uh, the fact they've gotten this out today, you know there's going to be a lot of wrangling going forward about the complete report, who's going to get it, and what will happen next uh, with the information that's in that report. All right. And of course, that is the big question. What happens next? And, and do you expect the public will eventually see this full report? I think they're going to see parts of it, more than just the DOJ summary, but um, the attorney general has already cautioned that a lot of the report may include what we call 6E material, that is, grand jury testimony. Uh, Bob Mueller used grand juries extensively. I have to think there's a lot of material in there that we may not see, even if we see conclusions. Uh, but I think what happens will, uh, with this report, there'll be additional congressional hearings. Uh, and then, uh, as you know, there are other matters that are pursuing uh, being pursued in the Southern District of New York. And, and don't forget, there's two attorney generals in Maryland and Washington who are pursuing uh, claims that the emolument clause, that is, that the president has used his own, uh, the, the office for his own personal and his family's enrichment. So those cases will continue against, presumably, even the president. All right. Well, I'll wait to see what happens next. Legal analyst Martha Coakley, thank you so much for your expertise. Now, of course, we will continue to cover this Mueller report and the reaction to the summary sent to Congress throughout the night. We'll have all the new overnight developments on the eye opener that starts at 430 a.m.